here we are with the review of the Karua Dart from the mountain to the couch. To the couch. We rode this board a few days now. Um, we rode it with, you had cartels. Yep. I had a Union Atlas and Union Falcors. To summarize what I feel this board is, is it takes that love that I had for the puzzle, that plug and play, kind of like anybody who can ride it. If you want to drive a little while off your front or your back, um, anybody who wants to turn but also wants float and powder, they want a board that's not too big and not too small, this 56 fits perfectly. I yeah. felt like this board fit me perfectly, us being like completely different dimensions, different foot size, different weights, and a lot of Ooh. times different preferences. And we both agreed that this, uh, of all the crew boards for me, this is, has been my personal favorite so far. Me too. I love it. And this just feels perfect for me and my size nines. And I was considering going with the 52 and I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't go with the 60. I'm, you were thinking I'm a about size that, 11 and a half. I've got 10 and a half uh, tactical ADVs. And there's, yeah, plenty of width in there for that, yeah. The flex, the pop, the butterability, all that jazz. Let's see if I can get this in here. Flex it, James. Oh, oh. oh. This is some serious flex. Yeah. One thing I did notice, though, is uh, playing around with the flex, is when you flex it like this, there's a little, you know, when you flex it just on one part of the tail like you would on the turn, there's a little more give, but these things are still super stiff yeah. for a swallow tail. And they're, they come into play in your turning because, you know, the tail doesn't start to rise up till like somewhere around here. So you get a little swallow tail in your turn. Don't you feel that way? Yeah, totally. I and thought I, the swallow tail is actually one of my favorite features of this board. Um, maybe. Made it a little bit more forgiving than some of the other yeah. shapes. So yeah, it's super poppy. It's super stiff. Um, it's not definitely not the stiffest of Karua's line. And the camber profile not being super catchy. It definitely feels technical. It's for advanced to expert riders who really understand how to turn, really understand how to you know wait and initiate a turn. You don't have to be the ultimate ripper because. I'm riding it. It's not over the top. The front has that little bit of early rise, so it kind of alleviates you from a little bit of that catchiness. This feels right. almost like a full camber ride, doesn't it? There's a shit ton of camber on this board. Yeah. Great edge hold. Yeah, the edge hold is is just for, it does, there's nothing going on with the side cut that we know of. It's just yeah. a well done side cut. It can handle hard snow, no problem. And yeah. in good snow, this thing just just carves, um, it's just carves. really yeah. holds. And the turn initiation, it's much, much faster than my old puzzle, a board I loved. I feel like it's just like a shortened swallow-tailed puzzle, you know? Because that puzzle like that back foot carve, but it could also drive a little bit off the front foot. Right. You know, it just, it just kind of suits any kind of rider, and that's what I like about this board. Laying out carves and just turning, this is like, some of the most fun I've had all year. Um, yeah, Amazing. I haven't had this much fun in many, many boards. You know, just Karua understands turning. And you said that first run or second run, yeah. whereas I was kind of just like trying to get used to the board. I've been riding a lot of other different boards, less yeah. directional. And uh, yeah, and I got on this thing and, but yeah, loved it. But we both went zero, right? Do we both go zero I went degrees? Zero, in the back? and then I went uh, positive, and then I went um, slightly duck. I went I zero. I took the back 21. foot on a little little journey, right? Like every direction. What yeah. did you prefer with this board? I liked it zeroed. Zero um, was, felt but it was, me. but I liked like I think I put it up to like plus nine. Yep. And then I put it zero, and then I put it um, like negative three. Yep. And I liked zero the best, but Overall. it just, but this is what I love about this board. It fits almost <clears throat> any kind of like, right. you know, if you're this kind of guy, you'll love it. If you're this kind of guy, you'll love it. If you're this kind of guy, you'll probably love it too. Right. And the speed on this, you would think this would just be sketchy off the tail, no kind way. of bucky. And it's just got the, it's got enough size, enough width, and that 56 is just right because it, 
it balances like turn initiation and like buckiness. Yeah, I you mean, know, I went when through you the go too short, they start to bounce around and buck you a bit. It's you true. Know? So it's kind of that nice in betweener. It's not something where I feel like I'm gonna die weaving in and out of bumps. I was okay with it. Yeah, we. I haven't. I've had pretty perfect groomers and powder lately, but um, I've had some uneven terrain. And I just don't feel like, yeah, if you're comparing this to, let's say, a pencil, you know, like the 164 that has a similar nose, waist width, and tail. A lot more length. There's so much more length, and that's gonna, like, be more damp, like, powering through, like, tracked snow on right. a powder day. But this is gonna be nothing like those super short surfy boards. This is just kind of that perfect size where it, I feel like they took like, you know, like a 161 puzzle and just shrunk it into something fun and tweaked it around. And powder. Man, those tails really come into play on the groomers and make this feel so confident off the tail but in powder you know it's a totally different thing it's just so little tail it sinks so easy and the nose floats so well it, I think it could be a dedicated powder board if you wanted it to be although you'd be taking out one of its best qualities by not riding it on groomers but man this floats it turns it's always where I want it to be. I feel comfortable in the trees uh, when I'm not amongst a bunch of death cookies. But all in all, I have to say, uh, you know, for powder, it's not even trying. It's like yesterday was about 10 inches to a foot and uh, I just didn't even feel like I was in powder. I just felt like this thing just wasn't even trying yet. So. You know, that early rise in the nose, all that taper in the tail, uh, I mean, all that taper from nose to tail, that, um, you know, setback on board, that massive setback on board, and then you've got the swallow tail, just that, that combination uh, just makes this a really easy, uh, fun board and powder. No, but overall, I fucking love this board. I've had, I'm so glad, you know, rarely, there's only been a few times where I bought a board and afterwards I'm like, I love it. I, I, that was the right choice, you know, yeah. especially when you can demo a board. Yeah. But I was so, I was getting so many reader requests and I was getting so antsy and you and I were And then we were on the phone and like I said, geeking on it. I can get yeah. one of these. So, and then I got one, we both got one in the same order. So it was, it was great. Yeah. And um, don't regret that decision at all. 